and you know, and I'll tell him straight up, I didn't, I didn't. You said some shit that was a little squirrely. You have to understand, like I'm dealing with, like I'm a guy that now has an entire Reddit board. Like I'm basically like a broke ass mini version of Ice Poseidon. I've got a bunch of retards with no lives that just are looking to fuck with me at any point. Gay British dudes, a bunch of fucking guys with bad teeth that walk dogs for a living, retards that fuck dogs to death, dudes who live off their parents and have mail order brides and pedo stashes, Canadians that whose dad get yelled at for turning off a computer in their own house. There's a lot of fucking weird, squirrely, creepy psychos. And uh, I wouldn't put it past them to just put people up to shit. So, yeah, if I get a bad read, I'm like, I'm out. I'm sorry. I'll pay for dinner. It's a great night. Thank you. I'm going to get home while I'm still sober. Godspeed to you. Whereas 25-year-old me was like, I'll stick my dick in anything. Let's fucking go, homie. Just trying not to just trying not to fuck. Not, again, going back to my point. Just trying not to fuck not only myself. But fuck myself and fuck Royce and fuck Frozen Asian and fuck, you know, AG Luck and fuck all the other guys we help out and all like like we do, you know, look, I, I know it's going to be, I don't know, they're going to spin that as like, Mersh really thinks he's like really an influencer, but it's like, no, we do. I do have a, an effect on, I'm in a situation now where the shit that I do trickles down. I'm not just a strip club DJ anymore. I'm not just some miserable guy that if I fucking self-destruct, it's just me. If I self-destruct, other people are affected. And it kind of starts making you think about shit. And then, like, I now with my family, like my nephew and my sister, I got people that, you know, I try to help them out with stuff and, and, and shit. And, and I'm trying to, like, it, it just you just get to a place where you're like, I don't want to do that, man. I'm sorry. It ain't worth fucking making. Because I can go home and make cum come out of my... Honestly... I would, there's been situations where I would rather go get a hand job at a strip club and make cum come out of my body. You know what I mean? Like, I've been on some dates that, like, where the chick said some weird shit, and I'm like, this feels like a setup. But this would be great. I'll buy you dinner or whatever. And I've gone to a titty bar and got my dick sucked. Like, you know what I mean? Like, because that's not a Me Too situation. That's me getting my dick sucked for money. I'd rather do that and bail on a date that wanted to fuck me because the date that probably wants to fuck me is the one that wants to also fuck me. So, you know, you're like, well, I'll just bail out and just get get it, at, get it there and then I'll just fucking go home. I can just roll out, go home, get some sleep and, and just wake up tomorrow and not be canceled. TK 